Welcome back to Women of Divine Grace Ministry, Second Sunday Fellowship with Right Manor. Dr. Claudette Bryant, founder, Lucy Perez, chairperson, Jennifer, know that the women of divine grace, we are standing strong, unified as one, as we come yet through means of video while we yet are under the pandemic restrictions, we will be back in person to fellowship as soon as the restrictions have been lifted. We praise God for you. We are here for you at any time. Just call on us as we now prepare our hearts and our mind for our second Sunday fellowship service brought to you through video. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. reading would be coming from St. John chapter 1, starting at verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. He was not that light but was sent to bear witness of that light that was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world i've read for you saint john chapter 1 verses 1 through 9 may the word of god be a blessing to the readers hearers and doers of his divine holy word Thank you. 
Great is thy faithfulness. We pause now for our words of exaltation. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Oh, I give honor to the Most High God, our Father, our Lord, and our Savior. We thank Dr. Bryant for the opportunity to come before you again with words of exaltation. I'm Evangelist Rebecca Gerardo. Also bring greetings from JEOP, Evangelistic Outreach Ministry. May we pause for a word of prayer. Most Holy God, our Father, our Lord and our Savior, Holy God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come humbly as we know how, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for this day, Holy God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for this year, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for 2021, Holy God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, a year that we have never seen before, a day that we have never seen before, but holy God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for your son, Jesus, holy God. God, we thank you for all things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise God, praise God. We're going to turn now with me, if you will, to John. Yes, John chapter 1. John chapter 1. And before we need a topic for our words of exaltation today, it is in the beginning, God. Do you believe in the beginning, God? Do you believe? Praise God. The word re uh, God reads John chapter 1, starting at verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and life was the light of men and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. Verse six, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. Verse 10, he was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. The word now is becoming flesh, down in verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me. For he was before me, verse 16, and of his fullness we have all received and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, 
but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father. He has declared it a voice in the wilderness, verse 19. Now this is the testimony of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? He confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, what then are you, Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, no. Then they said to him, who are you? That we may give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now those who were sent were from the Pharisees, and they asked him, saying, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water. But there stands one among you whom you do not know. It is he who coming after me is preferred before me, whose sandal straps I am not worthy to loose. These things were done in Barabia, beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing the Lamb of God, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him, and behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me comes a man who is preferred before me, for he was before me. I did not know him, but that he should be revealed to Israel. Therefore, I came baptizing with water. Verse 32, and John bore witness saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remaineth upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, upon whom you see the spirit descending and remaining on him, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Oh, turn with me now, if you will, to Matthew, Matthew chapter 3, Matthew chapter 3. And we're going to start reading at verse 13. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him saying, I need to be baptized by you and you coming to me. But Jesus answered and said of him, permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. Verse 16, when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water and beheld the heavens and were open to him. And he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and allowing a lighting upon him. Verse 17. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. My Lord, my Lord. Turn now to John. John 6. 
38. John 6, 38. And the word of God reads, For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that all of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. And this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. My Lord, my Lord, turn now to Mark. Turn now to Mark. We're going to turn now to Mark chapter 16. Mark 6, Mark 16, starting now at verse 14, the Great Commission. Later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table, and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents and they drink anything. It will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then after the Lord has spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord coming with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. Amen. John 1, 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. To God be the glory. In the beginning, God, do you believe in Jesus? Amen. Amen. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It would never lose its power. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood, oh, the blood of Jesus. It will never lose its power. Oh, the blood, it will never lose its power. Oh, yes, it will never lose its power. First Corinthians eleven twenty three B That the Lord Jesus the same night 
in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Praise God, praise God. This will conclude our fellowship services for today. Jennifer, know that women of divine grace were yet standing strong, unified as one in our faith with you. As soon as the pandemic have been lifted, we will be back to fellowship with right manner in person. We pray today that all have received a word of encouragement. Remember our topic, in the beginning, God, do you believe? Oh, my brothers and my sisters, we're standing strong, unified as one in our faith. We're going to pause right now. We all will stand for our benediction. The benediction, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. God bless you.